Kompis. With an increase in the frequency of crimes such as theft, burglary, the installation of CCTV cameras in residential, commercial and industrial locations has become increasingly vital. As a result, there is a great potential to launch a CCTV business in India. This is a service-oriented business that typically includes two activities. The first stage is to choose the right items for your consumers, followed by installing them and providing them with the right services and assistance at a reasonable price. Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Cobb Biz. In this video, we are going to talk about how to start CCTV business in India. Before starting any business, you should know about the scope and opportunities of that sector. With the increase in crime rate, the demand for CCTV cameras and other security appliances is increasing in all the sectors. The security camera service industry is one of the fastest growing markets in the world with a CAGR percent of 19. The major consumers are school, hospitals, offices, traffic signals, banks, airports, shopping malls, residential complexes, railway stations, bus stops, etc. So, if you are planning to invest in an ever-growing market, then starting a CCTV business in India is a profitable idea. When you have decided to step into this CCTV business, you should apply for a few mandatory registrations and licenses you would be needing to start this business. Company registration. You may start out as a one-person company or an LLP or a private limited company to start CCTV business in India as per your eligibility and business model. GST registration to start CCTV business in India and pay the taxes you need to have a GST number. GST number is allocated to the business after successful GST registration, trademark registration, MSME registration, GST return filing and ISO certification. ISO certification is a certification for businesses that follows international standards. Having an ISO certificate for a firm can provide you a number of advantage. Other than this, you would be needing a BIS certification for your product because if you don't have a BIS certification, you won't be able to sell any of your product in the Indian market. Bureau of Indian Standards, that is BIS, is the national standard body of India, which was established under the BIS Act 2016. The BIS works on marking the quality of products and providing the quality certification to assure the safe and efficient usage of the product. BIS has been helping the national economy in reducing money and product wastage by only allowing certification for good quality products which are efficient, safe and reliable to the consumers at large. The BI certification is a third party guarantee that provides customer with assurances of safety, security, standards and quality assurance. BI certification offers three schemes for customer safety and security. The schemes take the form of certification. First is Indian Standard Institute or ISI. ISI is a certification scheme that ensures the safety and security of customer as per Indian standards. Next is FMCS, Foreign Manufacturer Certification Scheme, is a scheme that applies to foreign manufacturers that makes sure that the foreign products imported into India are in compliance with Indian standards so as to ensure the integrity and product quality of products sold in the Indian market. Next is Compulsory Certification Scheme, is applicable to all electronically generated products which are manufactured both in India and outside India. The products include CCTV cameras, mobile phones, smart watches, IT products, etc. Moving forward in this video, let's Let's discuss the procedure to obtain the BI certification. If the product is produced by a foreign manufacturer, an AIR is appointed for the application process. The application form is submitted along with the required documents. The product sample is submitted for testing in a BIS approved lab. Product test report is collected from the BIS lab and is submitted to the BIS office by the manufacturer or the AIR, accompanied by the copy of the application form, hard copy or online. A hard copy is submitted in case of offline submission and the BIS officer then verifies the test report. After all the details are verified, the BI's license is granted to the manufacturer or his AIR in case of foreign entity. Now, as you have discussed the procedure, let me tell you about the documents that you will be needing for BIS registration for your CCTV camera. First document is completely filled CDF CCL form, duly filled BIS application form, business license of manufacturing unit, the scope of business license, ISO certificate of the manufacturer, marketing label, details of marking on the product authorization letter, trademark certificate, trademark authorization letter, authorized Indian representative company registration proof in India in case of foreign manufacturer. 
photo ID of authorized Indian representative, authorized signatory, technical specification sheet of product, user manual, etc. The use of CCTV cameras has grown rapidly over the time. BIS has made it mandatory for CCTV cameras to be BIS certified in accordance with the Indian standards. However, for CCTV cameras with Wi-Fi access, a WPC certification is in addition to BIS is required. If the CCTV camera does not have a Wi-Fi feature, WPC certification is not required at all. As a result, before opting for a certification, a manufacturer must be thoroughly familiar with the process and requirements. So, this was all about the topic. For more information on the registration and licenses, you can call our expert on the given numbers. And for more such content, keep watching Cobbiz. This is Yash Taksena signing off. Thank you.